Hello, good morning everyone. So, I have the one question paper that is 2018. In 2018, uh, based on a uh, standard deviation, there is one question. I saw you now. The question is like this. I will read the first question. The marks scored by two students in eight tests. The marks scored by two students in eight tests are as follows. Find who is better scorer and who is consistent. The question is better a scorer and who is more consistent. Right? So better scorer purpose, we need the arithmetic mean and consistency, nothing but reliability. Right? Reliability is called consistency. So consistency reliability means we need the C V. So two variables given standard one, standard two. Standard one is called one variable, standard two is called second variable, right? So first I will solve the mean standard deviation CV of the standard one. So I will write the question like this. The question is like this. This was the standard one question. Right? It's a variable. Variable like this x 31, 48, 25, 55, 38, 43, 15, 36. So these are the variable of x. By using this variable, you need to use the or you need to find the which one? D you have to find first. D. What is D? D means out of the given number you take the one small number. Which one is small number in this given question? I think 25 is the small number, right? This 25 is small number. Now subtract all number in the 25. 35 minus 21, 6. 25 minus 48 minus 25, 23. 25 minus 25, 0. 55 minus 25, 30. 38 minus 25, 30. Then uh, 43 minus 25, 18. 50 minus 25, 25. 36 minus 25, 11. Why all these numbers come positive? Because we taken the smallest number, subtracted in the all number. So you obviously you get the small number only. It means negative, positive number only. Now you make the square of this number. All number square now. 6 square, 36. 3. The square value is like this 36, 23 square, 30 square, 100, 13 square, 169, 18 square, this one, 25 square, this one, 11 square, 121. Is it clear now? Now you move to the next one. So this was the standard 1. Standard 2 answer now means uh, variables. These are the up to here standard 1 variable. Now I will take the standard 2 variable. Standard 2 variable means we need to check the question paper once again. So question paper. That is a y, that is number is 51, 36, 42, 83, 37, 18, 42, last is 20. Now you check that which number is small number out of the given number. I hope that it was the 18, 18 number. Number 18 is the smallest number, right? So by using the smallest number, you find the values. Then see the value now. How this value comes now? Which one? Uh, the D. All Y number minus 18. Like that. 51 minus 18, 33. 36 minus 18, 18. 42 minus 18, 24. 83 minus 20, uh, 18, 65. 37 minus 18, 19. 18 minus 18, 0. 42 minus 18, 24, 20 minus 18, 2. Now, all these numbers are square now. 30 square is 3 square, this one. 18 square, 24 square, this one. Like all the numbers, last two numbers square is 4. So, take the total of all these numbers. Now, we take that standard 1 is x, standard 2 is y. Now, what you have to do now? This is dx means dx because both sides dd is there. So, better to you name, uh, give the name. This d is for x variable. This dx is called dx, dx square. Then this d is a dy, and this one is dy square. Now use the formula that is a mean standard deviation CV. First I will use arithmetic mean formula. So x bar equal to 
समेशन ऑफ एक्स डिवाइड बाई एन वट इज समेशन ऑफ एक्स इन थ्री ट्वेंटी सिक्स थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिवाइड बाय हाउ मेनी ऑब्जर्वेशन क्वेश्चन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट डिवाइड बाई एट सो यू नीड टू डू दैट थ्री ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिवाइड बाई एट द आंसर इज फोर्टी पॉइंट सेवन फाइव देन वाई बार समेशन ऑफ वाई बाय समेशन वाई बार वाई इस वाज द टोटल ऑफ वाई सम ऑफ वाई इज थ्री ट्वेंटी नाइन थ्री ट्वेंटी नाइन डिवाइड बाय एट So 329 by 8 is equal to 41.125. Then use the standard deviation now. Sigma equal to which one? Standard deviation equal to summation of dx square by n minus summation of dx by n whole square root. What is the dx square? Here is dx square is there. Two seven zero four divided by eight minus. What is dx? One twenty six divided by eight whole square root. Twenty seven zero four divided by eight three thirty eight minus one twenty six divided by eight. Into equal to button, then we will get the fifteen point seven five. Divide by this one and plus the multiplied equal to button, we will get the last number only. So root, remove the root this one. So three thirty eight minus fifteen point seven five. Difference, remove the root, we will get the seventeen point nine five. This was the standard deviation of which number? X variable. Now use the standard deviation of Y using the This number now. So formula summation of dy square by n, summation of dy by n whole square root. What is summation of dy square? Seventy one fifty five divided by n eight. Dy one eighty five divided by eight whole square root. Seventy one fifty five. Seventy one fifty five by eight. That is eight ninety four point three seven five minus one eighty five by eight eight then into equal to bottom plus then you get the five thirty four point seven 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 five thirty four point seven seven make the difference of these two and remove the root then that is eight seventy eight ninety four point three seven five minus five thirty four point seven seven Difference in remove the root will get 18.96. So 18.96. This was your standard deviation of x, and this one is standard deviation of y. So we got the both the mean. See first mean, second mean, first mean, second mean, first x divides the standard deviation second. Now by using this one, use the CV. CV equal to what formula? Standard deviation divided by mean into 100. So first I will use that CV of which one? First variable one, the standard deviation, standard one, first standard CV. Standard deviation is seventeen point nine five divided by first mean is how much here? Forty point seven five into hundred. So we'll get seventeen point nine five divided by forty point seven five into hundred. The answer is forty four point zero five. This was the first one. Then I will do CV of second one now. CV of second. The formula is same. Standard deviation by mean. Second standard deviation is eighteen point nine six divided by second mean is forty one point one two five into hundred. Do it now. Eighteen point nine six divided by forty one point one two five into hundred is forty six point one zero. So this was second. This was first. So I hope that. The first and second is clear to you. Now I will take you all the questions. Now the question is like this: Who is the better scorer? In question number two thousand eighteen, they are asking who is better scorer. The better scorer is like this: You find that your arithmetic mean of the first standard, arithmetic mean of the second standard. Second standard first standard means the standard one, standard two. That is given the class. Those two classes given. 
means the first class student's answer, second class student answer. So answer is like this. Forty point seven five is the first standard answer. Second standard answer is what? Second variable. Forty one point one two five. Out of these two, highest is the better. Who is highest? The first standard student or second standard student? Second standard student is the better here because average is more. So what you have to write in the exam in the theory, you write like this. The solution for first question for better that you have to write like this. Standard. Did you like this only in question? Standard two. The question is like this: Who is better scorer? Standard two students are students are better scorer. Better scorer. Better scorer. So why I use this one? This was the variable given in the problem. Second standard standard two students are better scorer as. Arithmetic mean is greater. In that now, why is uh, the point is uh, raised because why it is two only solution because as the arithmetic mean of the second standard is greater compared to first one. So this was the answer for first question. Now second question is who is consistent scorer? Who is consistent? Now we think that CV. I said that in the theory class in the earlier problem. Constant or reliability both are same, right? So less a CV shows that more consistent and more reliable. Remember, less a CV is consistent. More CV is greater variability, not consistent. So out of these two, which one is the least CV? That is shows the consistency. Why it is called less number is consistent because variation. Higher variation shows that what? Not a consistent. Lower variation shows that consistency. So 44.05, 46.1. So out of these two, standard D, standard of second, first standard students uh, CV is less. So out of these two, CV is less in case of standard one. So you can say that standard one students are more consistent in score. So answer two, like this. Standard one students are. Consistent scorer because as CV is least or less. Why this one is selected? Because CV is least. CV least is called consistent. So I hope that this was the one kind of solution they are asking you in exam two to or eighteen question paper. I will send that question paper to you all PDF. You refer that one. This question is in 2018. This was a question like this. In 2018, question number four. In question number four B, remember, and in which section is asked actually? Question number four. In question number four, one question is like this. Define theory is there. Second B question is a problem. So this was the fourth question. Sub question is in fourth main. Sub question B. This is solution they are asking. I hope that resource is clear to each one of you same type I will assign some questions to you all right thank you